In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can animate between two shaders using Arnold in Maya. First thing that you want to do is create your two shaders. So I have just a purple shader here and then a glass teal shader. And then what we need to do is create an AI mixed shader. So I'm going to do this inside the hyper shade and I'm going to look for AI mix shader but you can also do it if you select the cube, right click, assign new material, and then in the pop-up there, you can find the mix shader. But this is the way I've chosen to do it. And then in the mix shader, we are gonna plug in our first and second shader. So we can middle mouse drag it over like this, or you can grab the out color and do it inside of the hyper shade window there, like that. And so now I've got uh, the mix shader set up and I can drag that onto my third cube. And now you can see we've kind of got a purpley glass shader. We're getting a blend here using the mix weight of half and half. So in order to animate it, all we would do is drop the blend to zero, right click on the mix weight and set a key. Go to whatever keyframe you want change the mix weight to one, right click and set key. And so now we're getting an animation between the two shaders, but there's more. We can take it one step further. So let me just right click and break the connection here. The mix weight, we can use a black and white map to drive this so we could have it rather than just the whole thing blending we could have areas reveal itself and animate in that way so let me just show you a quick example if we hit on this checkerboard next to the mix weight and i want to put in a ramp here i've got a ramp and you can see as i change that we are kind of getting the result that the shader is coming up from the bottom. I don't know if you can kind of see that. So what we can do here is we can keyframe a different uh, attribute. So the selected position, let's set a key oh, zero, go to 50, set a key, we'll go all the way, set another key. And now if you can see through my <laughs> IPR render, that that is revealing using the ramp and it's animating but rather than it just blending it's using the ramp so you can use things like the noise uh, to do this if you want like speckle to reveal itself really simple to use the AI mix shader and there's loads that you can do with it 